so how was Gamma 2018? Z, go first. No. Yes. It was good. I enjoyed it. It was a very nice location, and um, it was good. Would you like me to give you more time to think about your answer? Not really. Not really? No, I enjoyed it. I don't know, I mean... Sitting here at the gate. I like the new location. That's the main thing that's different. Everything else, I mean, there were things that... Still um, playing on time. As far as games, for example, there was not a lot of new stuff I saw that huh? was exciting for the future, but then again, that's not really the, the point of the, the show. Mm. That's not what it's for. All right. So I have about... Um, Three, four, I think the move uh, ultimately yeah, was the big is hard. the big new. You know what I mean? But from Vegas to Reno. Yeah. Is that a, was it a good move? I think my gut reaction now, having done it once without yeah. knowing anything behind the scenes, is yes, it was a good move. Good move. Kenny, it's your first experience with Gamma, right? It was my first experience with Gamma, and um, from what I understand, this is a better place to have come to for my first time. I think it was great. I had a great time. Um, hotel was great. Saw a couple new games. Um, it was supposed to be away from the studio in a remote studio <laughs> that, we, that we put together. And um, I guess we'll be seeing uh, some of the footage coming up soon. Cool. Alright. What about you, Derek? Uh, I had fun. This is my second Gamma. And I was all about the move. This is, I, say, I, don't, I don't travel much, but that was a well, wicked hotel. Okay, Great place. Uh, and yeah, I got to see a lot of cool stuff. Good times. Good times. Very good. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. I'm probably not center, but anyway, yes, I would like to mirror everything that they have said. Um, it was a good change and um, a very positive. Uh, upgrade for the venue very positive upgrade on top of that I think I like our new setup with uh, a suite instead of being right off of the uh, exhibitor hall anyway so that was cool um, so yeah we'll have more later we're on our way back to Vegas for Maple Cod and that's gonna be fun so uh, we'll get more clips for that kind of stuff in a little bit Bye. Area. Yeah, yeah well, you're in the same area. The board's yeah, yeah. broken in the four areas. Tom is teaching us how to play. Um, so the there's new one, two, three, expansion four for Clank. If the mummy's in your area, you can fight him. He's doing. You can hit him for two. Doing the mummy. Four gold, but you take a curse. Or you can fight him for three and get rid of half your curses. Remember, curses are. We'll come back in a little bit and let you know how it goes. Um. And then you can use movement. When you move, you're just going to move your pawn along these paths. If it shows a footprint, you need to pay an extra movement to go from one spot to another. If it shows a monster, you have to take a wound, putting a wound over on your wound track. Unless you use a sword, you can ignore, you can basically kill that monster. If you move into a ice den, stop. you have to stop, you can't move anymore. An arrow means it's one way. All right, so we have just finished playing Champions of Midgard with all of the expansions and everything. And there are two guys here. It's the first time playing. So uh, we're going to get their thoughts and then my thoughts and then another guy's thoughts as well. So here we go. Anthony back here at 79 <laughs> points. And all the way over here, we've got uh, Shannon at 115. And we have Gregory at 116 and Green Player at 126. I won't say who that is. But um, so Gregory. <laughs> so humble. Gregory, uh, this is your first time playing the game? What do you think? Uh, it was actually. This was way better than I thought it was going to be. Um, you can defeat creatures right away, which I liked. Uh, now that I've played it, this is my first time playing, I played with all the expansions. I can't imagine not playing with the expansions. Right. It's, it adds a lot of depth to it, a lot of game ending uh, scoring, and just a lot of variety. And it played pretty fast for it being our first time, I think. Mm -hmm. You know, for our first time, you played it. This is yours. And this game, the, he, we played with the different mat, yeah. longer board, so that helped out too. But everything was really good. I liked the components, and I liked uh, how easy it was to learn. Yeah. So that, that all worked out. Cool. Really well. Shannon, this is your second time playing, correct? 
second time playing it. Uh, I, I, I like the game a lot. I think it's a nice middleweight game. It's a good worker placement. It plays fairly quickly for a first time playing it. Like about after about one or two, three rounds, you have a pretty good idea of everything you're doing. It's just a matter of figuring out your strategy and where you're going. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it's a lot of fun. Pretty challenging game too. Is neck and neck most of the way. Yeah, it was. Uh, than Anthony. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, there there always has to be an anchor, there is. right, Anthony? <laughs> That's right. That's okay. Me. All right. But, uh, you What'd know, you think? It's your first time, though. You know, I really like this game. Uh, I like worker placement games just because they're one of my favorite mechanics. Uh, but I do like uh, the fact that you know I I am last here, but. I think it's because I didn't diversify enough with the different uh, warriors that you can recruit and stuff. But I really like the uh, expansions with it, like these guys have said. Yeah. Uh, what's cool about it is when they die, you get these little tokens, and they sort of represent your fallen soldiers or fallen warriors that you can cash in out here yeah. for, for other things that can get you some unexpected points. So, you know, I had a really good time with it. I think on the next round... I could win this game against these guys. Well, I'll tell you what. I think one of the reasons Anthony lost is because he spent a lot of time the at the Sage's house. <laughs> that's, that's right. And that's there's true. a lot of rumors in the village about you and the Sage. I'm just saying. You might want to not spend so much time there later on. So we had a great time with a great game. We'll talk to you guys later. So we're here. We're about to start the Wits and Wagers game for tonight at Meeple Con. And... Crystal! You caught me on camera, so now I'm catching you on camera. You got me. I did. Say hi, Derek. Hi, buddy. <laughs> so anyway, we'll let you know how it's going a little bit later on. Bye-bye. We have our winners for the Wits and Wagers tournament. They had something like 34,000... Uh, points, and they were by far the... 34,600. Oh, there we go. 34,600 people. Well done, sirs. Well done. So now, I don't know what we're doing, but we're going to do something. Here's one of the... So maybe we'll have more... We're going to bed! Oh, we're going... We're going to bed? I'm lying. No. I'm not a kid anymore. Wait. Yes, I'm you are. Yeah, you're, you've passed that age now. I think I got another game in me somewhere. Okay. There we have... We possibly have another game in us. So, maybe we'll be back in a little bit. All right. So, here is probably my last game of the evening. I am going to be teaching Andrew here. Hello, Andrew. Hello. And we're going to be teaching him Warhammer Siege Spire. All right. So, uh, yes. It's one of my favorite games so we're gonna see if andrew likes it and he's promised he's gonna be truthful with me right totally totally truthful all right so uh let's get to it and we'll come back after the game's over all right so here's the end game we have what nine to seven i think so it was a very close very close andrew andrew's orcs got uh, decimated on the battlefield but they scored a lot of points anyway so andrew Brutally honest, like an orc would. What do you think <laughs> about Warhammer, Warhammer Underworld Shadespire? I thought it was pretty fun. Uh, I did die, and if my other guy had died, I would have scored two more points. But, yeah. you know, uh, so it goes. But uh, it was fun. I had a good time. All right, cool. All right, well, that is Warhammer Underworld Shadespire. We played the um, Chosen Axes against, uh, what is his name? Um... Iron, uh, oh, goodness, yeah, Iron Skulls boys, and uh, this was actually a really cool battle, and I mean, seven and nine, that's, that's a really, a really close game, actually, I mean, the last time I played, Z ripped me a new one with the Skaven, I mean, he scored a lot of points, we were using a, a different objective, too, but and as you can see, I, I was not unscathed. I did have some, uh, did have a guy die and took a lot more damage over here as well. So it was all in all a really good game. I think uh, it was uh, it just reinforced why I like the game. So that is that. I'm going to turn this off now before my phone dies. And now this is going to be the sign off as well. So we'll see you tomorrow for day two of Meeple Con. Bye. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com.
You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.